been a number of years and I'm back in my office. I'm going to take up guitar playing again since my children are grown a little bit and see if I can go through my mental block and uh, play as good as my brother. If I can be half as good as he is on piano and drums, I could make a lot of money. I really don't want to make make money. I, all I want to do is, I just want to express my artistic side, or uh, I want to rock out. So, the full of tabs on this is one here. Usually has a little red tab right there. That way, you can tell if it's Chinese or not. That was the stupidest comment I've ever seen in my life. Oh, it's a copy. Well, how come it's copy? Because it 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 it's got the wrong color pick on it. Now, if it's real, a real Gibson is going to come with this satin cloth. It's a nice touch. And it goes over the top right here. Connects here and here and here. Pull that off. There is a 1960 Gibson Les Paul Classic. Now, it is a reissue. I've said this a million times. It is a reissue. This is not an actual 1960 circa made uh, $100,000 guitar. It's not. I keep getting these comments. Oh, that's just amazing. One thing I like about this guitar, this has got the standard top. And they come in, Les Pauls are real heavy. They come in three different types of maple tops. They come in standard, double A and triple A, I believe. And the ones that are double and triple A have the, the striping in them that looks so nice. But you pay a lot of money for that. And they look nice. And then you can see the Gibson, how the pearl inlay. And this is a Les Paul Classic. What I like about it, right down here, it says 1960. That's my birthday, my year. Now. It also has a leather deal right here you lift up. And it'll come with a Gibson cloth. And this is what is known as a truss rod. This little end here takes the two little classic things off here. I guess if you got a fake one from China, it has three, but I don't look too far into, into uh, fake Chinese. But anyway, you take this off. And this adjusts the, the truss. The truss goes from here all the way down in here. What it does is it it bends it bends the um, the neck like a like a bow and arrow, like a bow, so that it, it, the strings hold better. Not hold better. It's I don't even want to get into that because I thought I how that works. But I've got my guitar, I've got my Digitech right here, my Marshall tube amp, and we're going to start with uh, some basic lead blues. And I'm going to sit on my nice bed here, because I, like I like to sit down when I play, I don't know for some reason. And we're going to see what happens, and if I think I will record some of my work, my sounds, but I won't uh, put them on the internet unless I'm halfway until I can break through that the mental block of trying to a, a good musician basically goes into a trance or a uh, they hypnotize himself where the conscious mind kind of shuts down and their feelings flow out through their hands into the instrument and then out through the speakers and the only very few um, artists can do it they're very good so we'll see, you know, we'll see what's going to happen, but that's what a Gibson case looks like. And we'll see if I post this. So now we're all set and we've just started. No matter of no time, I should be uh, doing pretty well, I think. Amp's on. Digitech is on. I have my 
RPG and I'm just thinking the problems I had before and a few years ago I had this splint put in my arm right here I had to actually get one of my arms in my or bones in my arms shortened and I had to have this five thousand dollar uh, the bone was cut in half and I had to have this put it back had to have this put in and then it cost me another four grand just to take it out three years later then I had a carpal tunnel surgery on my left hand and I'll tell you what if your hand starts to go to sleep any of your hands or you, you go to sleep and your hand goes numb your arm goes numb it's all carpal tunnel go get the go get the damn thing fixed it's it's real simple to do so my left arm is in good shape my right arm is okay and we'll, we're gonna see what's gonna happen oh and I got my uh, Chuck Berry basic blues lead guitar and if I come across some real good licks and uh, if I can beat this mental block where I can just let the music flow through me instead of trying to control it then I'll put uh, I'll put it on YouTube and see if it sounds um, okay for a 50 year old guy that always wanted to play. All right, happy holidays.